All right, so I have the best Luka Doncic build in NBA 2K25. Now, I really appreciate you guys clicking on the video, but before I show you the build, make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and turn on the notifications. We're going to have a lot of great content this year, so absolutely. Now, I'm actually going to show you three extra builds on top of this one. This one I'm going to call the non-cap breaker version, right? This one is basically made to not be used as a, with cap breakers, but if you do use cap breakers, this is also a very good build. So obviously Luca's a big guard, six foot six, two hundred and thirty pounds, six foot six wingspan. Now starting off with the finishing, you want to go with an eighty-five close shot and an eighty-five driving layup. Now Luca is very good inside, which is something I hope people realize, and he's really good in the post. So for the post sake, I'm gonna put it at ninety post control. The driving dunk we're gonna put at seventy because it gives you good dunk animations. You'll be fine with it. Obviously, you would prefer more, but for a Luca build, you're fine. Now forty standing dunk that will also be elite and. So your finishing will be good because you get some good animations. Now, I don't want to get too deep into it because there's more and there's other builds I got to show you guys. So mid-range, going straight to the mid-range. For this build specifically, I put an 83 mid-range. The reason I did that is because I specifically wanted a 93 three-point shot. And actually, you want to have a 96'7 wingspan. I apologize. You want a 6'7 wingspan. So a 93 three-point shot, you get your limitless range on gold, your dead eye on gold, and your set shot specialist on gold, which is a very good tier badges that's very good for luca obviously there's other versions of the build where you might have a mid-range that's higher but for this specific build go with the three point now 71 free throw very good free throw in my opinion especially for a luca build he's not the greatest free throw shooter but that's pretty good now pass accuracy see for this build i specifically wanted a 94 because that's where you unlock the luca Doncic pass style which in my opinion from me using it is the best outlet one i don't know if it's the best overall but it's a good pass style so you know, obviously, I'm, if I make the build, I want a 94 pass accuracy. And you can use your cap breakers on this. Like I said, this is not meant to be a cap breaker version of the build, but you can use it on your pass accuracy. Now, his ball, ball handle, put it 86. This gets you just an extra badge. It's just the be it's better than 85 by a mile, in my opinion. It's not worth much more, but you'll be fine. Speedwell ball, you want to put it at 80. This will get you some good dribble styles. I think Devin Booker will be uh, unlocked as well. And, and uh, Luka Doncic's dribble style as well. Now, for your perimeter defense, you actually want to put a 74. So you can get on-ball menace on bronze, which Luke is not the greatest defender ever, but you'll be able to play some solid defense with it, especially with the type of strength that you get. Just want to point out, strength really matters. Now, your steal, I actually put a 75 because that's where you unlock your last steal animation. Now, if you want to save points, drop it to 73 because you get interceptor on silver. But I put it to 75 just for the sake of the video. Now, for offensive rebound, I left it at 50. Your defensive rebound, I put at 35. I know Luka's a great rebounder, but it's very hard to make a Luka offensive build without, uh, with rebounding. It's just very difficult. You would have to give up so much offense. I don't know why, but that's just the way the game is. Now, agility, I put it to 77. I, I mean, agility, I put it to 72. Speed to 77. Yes, you can tweak this, but again, the other versions of the build are more cap breaker friendly, so your attributes overall are better. Now... Strength for this one is a 73, and your vertical is 60. This gets you some really good badges. Strong handle on gold is very good. Like I said, this is the first version of the build. Not my favorite necessarily, but if you don't have cab breakers, I would probably go with something like this. You can obviously tweak the build. Now, for my favorite, and actually, well, maybe not my favorite, but this six foot seven or the three-level scoring playmaker this one is very fun as well. You get a 90 driving layup, a 70 driving dunk, and then a 40 standing dunk. Animation rise. Great animations. Now, the other build you can tweak as well. You can drop the post control. That's what I did with this one. I dropped it to 87. I, I optimized it for cat breakers. So 87 post control gives you post without poet on gold, which is a very good badge. You'll be able to bully small guards. Now, your three-point shot, put it to 88. You're going to want to use your cat breakers here and put it straight to 93. So you can get all your badges right. 85 mid-range with shifty shooter. Apparently, that gives you a 100% green window, which is amazing. Shout out to 2K Labs for finding that out. Now, you still get the 94 passing accuracy, so if you unlock two uh, cap breakers, you can still take it at 99. I know a lot of people don't care about pass accuracy. I love pass accuracy, especially for a Luka build. No. Apologize, it's tired. 86 ball handle and 80 speed will ball as well, similar to the other build. I think a lot of these builds have the same ball handling and dribbling and passing, pretty much. Perimeter defense, 74, 75 still. Again, animation purposes, 75, 75, agility and speed. 84 strength. This gives you physical finisher on gold and 
Hall of Fame strong handle. This build is much better if you do have your cap breakers. You get a stronger driving layup. You're going to be able to get uh, all the gold shooting badges. Your build's going to be a bully. You're not gonna, you're not going to have to even be good at dribbling. You're going to be able to dribble through people, which is a W. So, yeah, definitely that build is as well. Now, to show you some rare builds, first of all, I want to show you a build that someone in my chat shared with me. And let me see if I could find their name just to give them a shout out. Um, EXWTV. I can't pronounce your name, but you. this guy came up with this build right here. Check this out. 95 driving layup, right? And 84 strength, 80 speed, 74 perimeter defense. You don't have a steal. But you have an 89 pass accuracy where you can use your cap breakers as well. Your 94 mid-range, you can use cap breakers and take it to 98, I believe. That's the max. And so you get post-fade Phenom on Legend. You still get the driving dugs. But when you unlock your cap breakers, you can take your driving layup to 96 and get physical finisher on Hall of Fame. So this build right here is very cap breaker friendly. And if you have multiple cap breakers, you can put some on, on three-point shot, get it to 89, and get that limitless range on gold and silver. You can even put them on pass accuracy. So this is also a very good build. Shout out to him for sharing this build because it's not an easy build to make. And so absolutely shout out to him, W build. Um, and then talking about community builds, I tried to show these on every video. This is the point guard, six foot six, 225 pounds, six foot seven. This is what they helped me with on stream. 90 driving layup, a 79 post control, a 93 three point shot. Like I said, I want 93 on my build. A 92 pass accuracy instead of 94. And 86 speed with ball and our ball handle and 80 speed with ball. Very similar to all the builds, pretty much. Uh, 60 interior, 74 perimeter, and a 60 steal for interceptor on bronze, which is a good badge. Very good badge to have. But the big difference is a 60 offensive rebound. So that's a W build, in my opinion. And that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, to show you the animations, by the way, here's a little quick advice. If you want a Luka build, I don't know why it's broken for me, but this Luka Doncic right here is also really good, right? You don't have the high three. You do got a great driving layup. You have a decent post control. You have decent defense. I mean, similar defense to the other builds. Decent. It's a decent build. I rec decent. I recommend the build that I shared more. But if you want this Luka build, this is also good. But the only reason you would want this Luka build, and I'll show you guys this, this is a little kind of, I don't know why it works like that, but the reason you might want this one is the animations that you get unlocked. I think this is the only way you can ever get Luka Doncic pass style without having the 94 ball handle or passing accuracy, which is pretty cool, honestly. Um, and pass style, and obviously, Luka Doncic is unlocked at 99 or 94 specifically, which means you get the highest unlockable passing style with the Luka Doncic build, which is, I think, a W, you know? I think that's pretty cool. Now, the dribble style, I still wouldn't recommend Luka. I would probably try something like Devin Booker when you unlock it, if you unlock Devin Booker. I think you do, actually. Yeah, you get unlocked, Devin Booker, with 80 speed with ball. So I would recommend them in that way more. So I do like the other builds more, but I wanted to show you that. It's kind of cool. I really do think so. And I hope I cut out all the times where I'm, I hummed because I'm tired. So there's a couple builds that I could come up with. They're very Luka's a hard player to make because he's very well-rounded, except defensively. But he can rebound, he can shoot, he can score, he can pass. He can play in the post, he can play in the mid-range, he can finish on people, he can dunk the ball. Not the greatest dunker, but he can dunk. Um, and he's very good at finishing layups. So, yeah, it's a tough build to make. But here's the best builds. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I hope you guys get safe soon. Thank you for watching.